Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Territory of the Sharks. This skill is going to basically break this deck. It allows you to turn any water monsters on the field into level 4s, which in turn will allow you to go into Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller is the new Ultra Rare in the box, and um, it's pretty gnarly. It makes this deck insane. So, let me tell you a first turn play that you can do. You can summon infantry and normal summon Deep Sea Diva from your hand, and Deep Sea Diva will special summon either marksman or another infantry depending on your needs. Now, infantry will pop a front row monster on your opponent's side, or your side if you need to, and marksman will do the same, but for back row on your side or your opponent's side. So, it's pretty useful. You can go um, two infantry turn one, or you can go infantry marksman turn one. It is super easy because Abyss Dweller is a quick, uh, a quick play um, effect. So it'll allow you to do it on your opponent's turn. And this is so that you can prevent your opponent from activating cards in their graveyard, such as Ancients. So that's really good. Now another thing it does is it will boost your water monsters up by 500 points, attack points. And um, that may sound like meh, but in fact, if you have attack squad on the field it will go up by 500 plus 800 and if you have deep sea diva to bring in attack squad from your deck because you can switch it from your deck onto the field special summon and you already have a dweller you're gonna have 1600 plus 500 plus the original what 1400 insane was that like 3200 it's pretty crazy now we're also gonna be running two uh book of moon is going to be useful because if you need to bring back Dweller for that 500 attack boost or you want to prevent uh, Ancient in the grave, you can do that. Now, Or if you have a Hope Woven in the grave and you want to bring it back so that you can get over a Blue Eyes, you can do that as well. I just think that it is worth running and a lot of people overlook it, but you're going to see it in play. Alright, another thing that is going to be really different from other decks is going to be called Atlanteans. Now I found that uh, if you Disrupted, or let's say your opponent is able to get over your first turn, your first turn board, and you have like a couple Atlanteans and a Deep Sea Diva in the grave. You have this in your hand and this on the field. On your opponent's in phase, you can activate called Atlanteans. Then on your turn, you can summon Poseidra, and that will take all the traps off the field back to the opponent's hand and your hand. So if you have a live Fiendish Chain. You'll be able to reuse it. It's pretty great. Um, another effect that it will do is your opponents will lose 300 attack for each uh, spell and trap sent back to the hand. So it'll also make anything that's on the field that's bigger than 2800 manageable that you can get over. It's pretty useful, um, but it is a, a late turn play. It is just a Hail Mary play. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it and take a look at the battles. <laughs> Which is, the ladder is just full of blue eyes right now. So let's see what's going on. Wow, that is a terrible hand. Luckily, it is our opponent's first turn. Maybe on the second turn we'll draw into something good.
Alright, we gotta go ahead and clean this chain this because we don't want him to put another ancient in there. We could prevent that. And I think we will. Because I'm not sure if he takes it from my field if it takes away my uh my attached cards. Alright, good. Marksman. Squad. set up. Then he won't be able to come out of the grave to the field. Depth 
泡完的杯。Hydra play was pretty sick. Um, yeah, give me a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later in the next video.